Hello Toma, this is Taras again. Sorry it took me a while to get this video going because I wanted to show you this color. It's a uh, really, really, really dark gray. It looks beautiful in this car. And I wasn't able to shoot the video outside, so I pulled this into the shop so you can see the, the color in the vehicle so much better. There we go, let's go ahead and start from the front. I'll show you the same features uh, that are in the other video. So there you go, the headlights, let's turn them on. Just, you have a proximity key right here, keyless entry and exit. Okay, there we go. Fog lights right there, rims, a little bit different style rims, still alloys, so they don't rust, don't wear out as much as the steel aluminum. Then you have the LED repairer on the mirrors. Like I said, keyless entry and exit, so you can lock your car and unlock it just like that. Get into it. Let's go ahead and show you the, around the vehicle first before we get inside. There's a little bit different styling on the uh, exteriors. You have the sport tag all-wheel drive system on this one. Beautiful styling rear tail lights. Look really nice. So there you go. Notice how the color is not dark, not black. Sorry, not black and not silver, it's dark, dark, dark gray. Coliseum gray is what it's called. Looks really nice in this car. Let's go ahead and step inside of the vehicle. Again, all your controls are here and what you inquired about is the memory seatings. For two drivers right there, you have the automatic seats and beautiful leather. That's what you wanted. There we go. And one thing I want to show you again is the panoramic sunroof goes all the way to the back. Looks super nice. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle. This has a push button start so you can have your keys in your pocket right there. Push the brake, start it up. Have your, all your controls right here. And let's go ahead and start. We have a heated uh, steering wheel right here. Turn it on and off. Rear differential lock so your rear wheels can be locked at, this, at all the times. Build descent assist as well as the blind spot detection. Looks really nice. Let's go ahead and turn it off over here because I don't want to idle inside the shop. So right here we have the parking sensors available in the car. Heated seats right there. Really nice. And just want to show you the, the rear view camera right there and it will show you where you're going with the steering wheel super nice so plus mix it up with the parking sensors and you have an entire control of what you cannot see so that's really neat and nice have a dual climate controls right there not just a single climate in the back let's unlock it we have a bench right there we have a shade system right there you can lift it up and down and surprise the rear seats are also heated the entire bench is heated super nice for passengers in the back they will feel really 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 privileged and like I said look you look up and it's a beautiful big sunroof super awesome let's go ahead and open the tailgate just like that and you have lots and lots of storage over here in the back. Lift this up. You have the storage right there, just like in the Santa Fe XL. And if you lift this up, you have a lot more additional storage right there. You can put anything up and down. Like that. Let's go ahead and close it. So there you have it. Those were the main differences between the two vehicles. You got a lot more with it, of course, but it is not a seven by five passenger. I hope this vehicle was informative for you. And if you have any more questions about the vehicles itself, or if you want me to do another video with more information in them, please just let me know and I will do that for you. So I wanna thank you for your time once again and we'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.